par vol de principe de mettre les pieds. <rire> Hi everybody, so this week I'm actually spending the entire week with my family. I just wanted to bring a camera, hence you, the viewer, in the forest here with me. my show. I do it. I decide. I look like this on a normal day on the mountain and it had been two years since I hadn't looked like that. Sorry, I've been speaking French for the entire day that I spent with my family and English is kind of leaving my brain right now. So today is snowboard day with my dad who very kindly offered me one of the tickets that he bought uh, a very long time ago, probably for an occasion like this, and now he's back at the main camp, and I found a very, very quiet place to be where snow is melting, rocks are showing, there are trees in the way, so it's basically uh, my definition of heaven. So that's in fact my sister's dog and I thought I really wanted a big dog but seeing how much trouble this one is I'm not sure about it anymore like He's always so excited and he doesn't listen to commands so he's gonna start running off on his own and want to play and explore so I think I could have a dog with that much energy, to be honest. He's so cute though! Ah, 
Hi, so I've brought you here today to discuss something that is really, really important to me. I'm at my parents' place this week. Like for, uh, I was supposed to be only here for three days, so that's from Monday till Wednesday, and then I would go off to Sherbrooke again. But that didn't happen. I didn't find a ride on Wednesday, so I had to stay here, which is fine. Um, except for the fact that I have always had problems living with my parents and um, it's really really challenging to be here because when I'm home there's this coziness that sets in there's uh, the inevitability of things like I have to go out these days to do those specific things like groceries and I have to cook for myself and I have to you know all the things that happen when you uh, live it, when you live on your own, or with a roommate, or with somebody else in your life, but you are not in your parents' house anymore. So to be back in my parents' place and to be subjected to their opinions on things uh, all the time is very, very challenging. It's very difficult, and sometimes it's it hits head on. Uh, it goes head to head with what I believe in or um, what I want to do, what I perceive, what my opinions are. And I sometimes discover quite a bit about myself in the process. Um, yesterday I went to see my uncle who's um, in hospital. He's been there for a couple of months, but it's the first time I saw he uh, I saw him in hospital. He was still in a room where um, you can't get access if you don't have a blouse on, if you don't have a protective jacket and gloves. So that was just an experience, basically. But the fact that it's my uncle, and the last time I saw him, he cut my hair, which is why it's grown so long now. Uh, no, he cut my hair, he used to be the life of the party in the best and the worst ways and that's probably what got him uh, what got him in hospital eventually. But uh, he was a very very nice person at least to me and my dad and aunt take good care of him. But the last time I saw him he was in quite a good shape. Uh, and now he looks like a corpse and that really hit hard and hit home for me because uh, I probably mentioned this before but my dad is aging he's 72 years old now and although he's a very very strong resilient man uh, he's starting to lose a little bit of memory here and there and age starts to show Although he doesn't necessarily want to admit it, he he's conscious for others that it is happening, but he's reluctant to admit that it's happening to himself, uh, except maybe memory and sometimes physical strength. He's, uh, he has a massive ego, but uh, I'm quite like him. I'm quite fond of him too. I uh, just don't like to say it. And my mother is a very, very stubborn person who... Uh, is very shy and will often just shut down and let other people talk and come back from the rear or when other people aren't talking and then say her opinions which are sometimes quite starkly different to what people generally assume or uh, what my dad for example would have as an opinion so I'm glad to see that she's kept her critical mind after 24 years of being with the same man that's really good because she's, uh, she stands by values that she believes in. And although she does it quietly, she is a very, very uh, effective person, I would say. And that bit brings me to the reason why I sat the camera there for uh, a little moment. It's because she writes these notes for me. She gave me uh, a map of the Netherlands that is from 19... 
1989, so it was eight years before my birth, in um, Great Britain and Ireland. She's also left me one of her college papers because uh, she went to a college which does mostly uh, tourism. I, I read it all. It's not that thick and that, uh, ma uh, that lengthy a read and it's very interesting. And I can see, I can understand her better now for who she is and who she, uh, what she's been telling me to do for years, which is just make a plan and follow it. That's basically um, an itinerary for a itinerary. I don't. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that one, and I won't voice it over. Um, but basically, she is presenting a paper to one of her teachers uh, uh, in a class called Great uh, Touristic Destinations. But she, uh, the, pre uh, the preface of her paper is that she doesn't really like the big bustling city and that she's more interested in the, uh, the human experience in her travels. Um, which is something that she's definitely instilled in me because I still believe in those same values and we never really talked openly about it. Uh, something else that's very interesting in that paper that she wrote um, are the prices because you can see, for example, a bed and breakfast in England uh, for... You can go in an in a hotel in England for 15 stern, uh, pounds sterling, which is, which was at the time $30. Yeah, so for $30 basically, you could go at uh, a hotel and for about $15, you could go in a bed and breakfast. With the very, the lack of steady jobs, that I have, uh, it's quite difficult to imagine a plan like this to work for me. Although I really appreciate her giving me that paper, and I learned things that were. Well, I also know that she didn't do that trip. It's a really, really inter interesting work for me. It's very nice to be able to uh, know my mom a little better in, uh, as a younger adult, because. Now the age difference between us kind of shows, um, but to be able to put myself a little bit in her place at the time that she wrote this makes me have a newfound appreciation for what she's been doing for years and what she's been telling me to do for years. And I probably will be a little bit less harsh now, um, knowing that that's where she's coming from. Um, the problem is that I'm a very, very defeatist person, and I don't see myself uh, very far in the future. Although, by doing this YouTube thing, I made n nothing. It's fine. Um, I will find other ways to make money. It's probably a very, very long video by now, because I talked here for a very, very long time, and... There's a whole week worth of footage that I haven't uploaded uh, until now, so I'll probably edit that before what you just watched, so you're welcome. And that was a very nice week, and I'm very happy that I came to my parents' place, even though I got stuck here, and I'm quite happy I got stuck here, because I got to read this work by my mom, uh, spend some time with my little sister, which really doesn't happen often, and uh, I have been able to walk a dog who's very, very excited, and it was a nice time, basically. So... I know it's probably a very long video already, but the very last part, which is my outro, didn't record, so I'm sitting here in a beautiful light. Just to tell you that if you have a dream and it's not been realized yet, just write it down below in the comments. I would really like to 
hear about you guys uh, and read what other people's dreams are. So I already mentioned traveling, uh, work, there are so many more others that uh, are important. So having a healthy lifestyle, uh, eating with your values, so if you're vegan or those other things, if you're in love with a person of the same sex and you just don't have the courage to tell them, to know that somebody is listening or to know that somebody cares uh, can do a lot just on its own to help. So that's what my mom has been trying to do for years and I've been kind of rejecting it saying you're my mom, you can't understand, but she definitely does and your mom does too. Not understand me, I mean she understands you uh, as their child. So if there's anything you would like to mention or uh, you would like to address or you have any ideas for the next thing I could talk about for way too long, just leave it down below. I'll be very happy to read this and uh, I'll see you very soon. Now I have to go walk a dog. Cheers!